Good morning, friends and neighbors, and welcome to Soundbites with Bill Wood, a certified lay minister at St. Paul's United Methodist Church in El Paso, Texas, where our mission is to love God, follow Jesus, and serve others. Again, if you have any joys or prayer requests, please send them to the St. Paul's email address so that we may rejoice with you and pray with you. So if you would, please join me in prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the many blessings that you shower upon us each day, and thank you for your grace and mercy, which you abundantly give to us new every day. Help us to share this grace and mercy with others as we go about our daily activities, and also to share the good news of the birth of your Son, our Savior. And Father, we also look forward to the upcoming new year and all of the new things that you hold in store for us. Help us to look for them. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. <clears throat> Today will be our last Thursday together in 2021, and in a couple of days we will start a new year. 2021 has been a troublesome year, but God is good and has sustained us in these troubled times, and I know that he will continue to bless us in this new year. As we close this new year, I want to share with you some scriptures that I believe will help us focus on how God will have us be in ministry in the coming year. The first is Jeremiah chapter 33, verse 3. This is what God told Jeremiah to tell us. Call to me and I will answer you and tell you great and unsearchable things that you do not know. I believe that this is as true today for us, for us today, as it was for the people of Israel in Jeremiah's time. In this new year, I encourage you to spend time meditating on God's Word and asking what He would have you do and how He would have you be in ministry, listening for God to reveal those great and unsearchable things that you do not know. And trust me, He will tell you. And then trust God and follow through with his instructions. The second scripture is also from Jeremiah, verse chapter 29, verse 11. And it reads like this. For I know the plans that I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not harm you and give you hope for the future. God knows the plans that he has for us. And for us to find out what those plans are, we need to be in communication with him. We need to listen and we need to meditate. And I believe that the best way for this to happen is to develop a daily quiet time. By doing this and praying and listening and asking and meditating, God will reveal those plans. He may not give us the full details all at once, but as we begin to act on what he tells us and what he wants us to do, then he will be with us and he will give us a little bit more of the details and eventually will give us all that we need to accomplish the job that he has for us. And remember this, that God does not call the equipped, but he equips the called. And so as you listen to God and you act on his word, then he will equip you to do what it is that he wants you to be involved in. So I encourage you to make this a priority and also that to rem remember that God sometimes uses other people to bring his plans and his thoughts to you and to share things with you that God would have you be involved in. <clears throat> the next scripture is found in Isaiah 42 verses 5 through 9 and verse 16, and then chapter 43, verses 18 through 19a. One of my spiritual practices is to have a daily quiet time where I read and pray and meditate and listen to God and to try to find out what he would have me be involved in. In about two days, well, the, the about a year ago, in last March, I was reading from Isaiah, this chapter 42, verses 1 through 9, and didn't think much about it, but a couple of days after reading this passion, this passage, 
Pastor Amy called me and to see if I would consider writing a short five to eight minute Bible study and then upload it on YouTube for anyone to watch and listen to that was interested in it. And I told her, well, I don't know one thing about YouTube, but let me pray about it and I'll let her know. This was something completely foreign to me for, as I said, I knew nothing about YouTube. I really had not watched much on YouTube and didn't know how to access it or anything else. But then a few days later, I read verse 40, chapter 43, verse 18 and 19, and that seemed to confirm that the Bible study on YouTube was in God's plan for me at that time. So I called Amy and shared with her what I had been reading and meditating about and how I felt the Lord had spoken to me and especially with chapter 43 verse 18 and that seemed to confirm that it was God's plan for me to consider preparing the Bible study as she had suggested. And having made the decision then I told her that I would need someone to tell me what to do and how to go about doing it. and and. Um, Amy said that she would work with me, and she did, and as a result, Soundbite with Bill Wood became a reality on April the 30th, 2021. That's when I placed my first Bible study on YouTube. So let us now read Isaiah chapter 42, verses 8, or 5 through 9, and Isaiah 43, 18 through 19a. So chapter 42, verse 5. This is what God the Lord says. He who created the heavens and stretched them out, who spread out the earth and all that comes out of it, who gave birth to its people and life to those who walked on it. I, the Lord, have called you in righteousness. I will take hold of your hand. I will keep you, you, and you will... I will keep you and will make you to be a covenant for the people and a light for the Gentiles, to open the eyes that are blind, to free the captives from prison, and to release from the dungeon those who sit in darkness. I am the Lord, that is my name. I will not give my glory to another or my praise to idols. See, the former things have taken place, and new things I declare before they spring into being, I announce them to you. Now, prior to this, these verses in the 42nd chapter, Isaiah had reminded the people of what God had done for him and for them in Egypt as they had delivered them out of Egypt and then taken care of them through the desert and the wilderness, the 40 years of wilderness. And so the former things have taken place, and new things I declare before they spring into being, I announce them to you. Then chapter 43, verse 18, and the first part of verse 19. Forget the former things and do not dwell on the past. See, I am doing a new thing. Now it springs up. Do you not perceive it? And as you read and meditate on God's word, listen for God's voice and pay attention to the conversation to the conversation that you have with God and also to the conversation that you have with others because God sometimes speaks through them to get to you. And going into this new year, we may very well find some new and different things if we just listen to God. We need to forget about the things that were in the past because we don't, we're not doing things like we did <clears throat> before the pandemic hit. So we need to listen for the way that God wants us to be in ministry. And the last scripture is uh, taken from 2 Chronicles chapter 7, verse 14 and 15. If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear and from heaven I will forgive their sins and will heal their land. Now my eyes will be open and my ears attentive to the prayers offered in this place. So it is my prayer for this year that 
the people of this great nation will heed these instructions and will turn back to God, not just turn to God in their head, but turn to God in their heart and make a change and, and a commitment to live according to God's plan, to make God a priority in their lives so that others will come to know God. And I ask you to join me in this prayer. Also, I ask for you to continue your quiet time and your listening to God and see what new and great things that he holds in store for us that we can be a part of. Well, I have enjoyed my thoughts, sharing my thoughts on these verses with you this morning, and I trust that it resonates with you. And if you have some additional thoughts about this, please email them to the St. Paul's, St. Paul's email address. I would love to hear from you. Have a safe and happy New Year's Eve celebration and listen for God to speak to you and show you those great and unsearchable things. Go in peace. <laughs>